provide pro bono aid, which is ideally free aid, legal aid. We have women and girls who can access our offices in Kampala and just walk in any day and speak to a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Mental health and well-being and welfare and self-care for the lawyer is important. It's something we even budget for and advocate for with our partners and donors that support our work. And also many women after speaking to a lawyer and telling them, I am done with this marriage. My daughter has disappeared. Oh, my child was trafficked. They want someone to believe them. What I am going through is not just a concern because I am a mother or a wife, or I'm someone going through divorce. I'm losing my children in a custard battle. But my pain can be translated into a legal demand. Growing up, I wanted justice. But my mom was merely a primary school teacher. And the only thing that always kept her in the marriage is that so her daughters could get an education. But when I see a poor woman who can't afford a lawyer, because I know my mom needed a lawyer on so many occasions. So when I see these women coming out, I tell my colleagues every day that I see my mother walking to our office every day, saying my child has been taken to Saudi Arabia and I want Prima to come back. <laughs> every day I see that and I have to stand with that woman and say Prima has to come back.